Hi guys, Albert here from Ocelicious, and today I'm going to show you how to take your favorite drum beat and uh, extract the groove from it so you can reconstruct the beat inside your favorite DAW. So here what I'm going to show you is how to take uh, a drum loop like this one. This is uh, a, a loop taken from Cold Sweat by James Brown. And I've reconstructed it in Reaper using this technique. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so to begin with, what we're going to do is uh, we're basically going to take a three passes at this, um, three passes of slicing at this beat, where first off we're going to slice out the positions of the hi-hat sounds, then we're going to slice out the positions of the snares, and then the positions of the kicks. And each time we're going to save that to, to MIDI. And that is basically the process of extracting the groove, and that'll give us the swing and the timing of those individual, those individual drum hits, and that's how we're going to construct, reconstruct it in Reaper. So let's just do the first part of this uh, right now, where we're going to try to find the hi-hats. So let's listen. Okay, now if I hold down Control in Beat Cleaver, I can sort of trigger playback wherever I want. Okay, so that sounds like a uh, that sounds like a hi hat here. So if I hold down Shift, there I can insert there a slice point. There might be one here with the snare, and then is that one there? Yeah, that sounds like a hi hat. And another one there, another one there. And, and that sounds like another one here. So I'm going to use my uh, the number keys on my on my keyboard now to just preview these slices individually. And we're going to listen to make sure that we hear hi hat sounds on each of them. Yep. Yep. Maybe. Yep. That sounds like a hi hat. Yep. Again, maybe. That sounds like hi hat and uh, hi-hat snare. Okay, so that's roughly the positions. I'm just going to tighten this up now. It's really, really important to get the uh, the slices as close as possible to where the actual sounds start because that is that is that timing is essentially what what gives it the uh, the swing. So the it's really important to uh, be as precise as possible there and not to cut corners. Okay, so here we've got the uh, Get those slices tightened up. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save Slices as MIDI, and I'm going to save that as Cold Sweat Hi-Hats. Okay, now I'm going to clear the slicing, and we're going to slice again at the uh, the kicks. So there's one on the on the, uh, the first beat right at the start, and another one over there. And, and actually one right here. As well. No, nope, right. There it is. Okay. So again, I would do this. I would go file, save slices as MIDI, and say, you know, cold, cold sweat kicks. And uh, then I would go through again and I would slice out the snares. One, two, three, and there's a little one at the end. So I'd go through, tighten, the, tighten up the timing and all that stuff, and I, in the end I would have three, uh, three different um, MIDI files, one for the hi-hats, kicks, and the snares, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going go to go to, over to Reaper, and, uh, let's, uh, and I've already set up the buses here, one for the kicks, one for the hi-hats, and one for the snares, different tracks, and they each have a sampler with the, with the right sounds in them. And I'm just going to go here and I'm going to drag in the MIDI files. So they put the kicks and the kicks track, the hi-hats, there we go. Drag the right one into each of the corresponding tracks. So if we give it a listen now, let's see what it sounds like. Uh, let's move the, the cursor over. Okay, so there's some extra sounds in here because Beat Cleaver always exports a um, the first slice always has a, a MIDI note there. So we're going to take out, for example, there is no snare sound on the on the one. So we're going to take that out. Listen to that, what that sounds like. So 
So maybe maybe the kick is not supposed to, maybe this so let's go to, yeah for example that kick the last kick there sounds weird so we're going to open up the kick track and I'm just going to adjust the velocity of that that kick down and we'll see what it sounds like ah there we go hmm maybe Yeah, okay, so in this case, I think that that kick there was supposed to be a snare, but it sounds pretty close uh, to what I had before, and it's going to sound pretty close to... Um, sounds pretty close to this original beat here. So you're listening for not particularly the actual sound of those, you know, the, the drums, but the, the swing, the feel of the drums. And again, uh, you know, it's not just it's not just the uh, the groove, like the actual timing per se. Uh, it also is influenced by the the velocity. So you're gonna want to play and mess around with the velocity manually. But if you mess if you uh, work on that, uh, you can basically reconstruct any beat inside whatever DAW you want. This technique was very general. So uh, you just slice with slice with MIDI and beat cleaver, and then export those MIDI files into whatever DAW. Uh, you like to use. Um, and you can also use this to sort of build up a library of uh, your favorite groove patterns as well. Your f you can take like, you know, export the, the kicks from all your favorite drum beats and then use that as, as the basis for some some new material if you like the particular swing of that drummer or or of that song. So that's that's how to do groove extraction in Beat Cleaver. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or uh, email us at support at And thank you for watching.